In this video, we're going to talk about tips and tricks on how to make a TriPack Evolution data logger download more user friendly in Excel. Prior to this video, you should have already downloaded the TriPack data logger and converted it from a bin file to a CSV file. Information on how to do this is located in the TriPack Evolution Greenbook, Procedure A50A. Once you're in the download, let's first talk about the layout. Here at the top we have what's called the header. We can see what the different software versions are that were loaded on the TriPack at the time of download. We can also see the unit's ID and unit serial number. If these are blank, that means that they were never entered in at unit setup and need to be entered in through the TriPack Evolution Service Tool. Now before we continue on down the download, first thing we're going to do is we're going to extend out this column A because all of my dates are hashtagged out and all you have to do is extend the column out and that becomes a full size date format. Now at the bottom of the download we have what's called the footer. And the footer is going to have our hour meters engine hours, cool hours, heat hours, fan only hours. It's also going to give us our unit configuration and our programmable feature settings at the time of the download. Now as we go back up, I want you to notice something. Data logger downloads, they just record data until the data logger fills up and then they start overwriting the oldest data. So in this format, the Excel spreadsheet does not lay it out as newest information on top. So you actually have to go find where the split point is and all you have to do is scroll and basically until you find a massive date jump. So right here, we went from 2009 to 2015. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these two rows and then assign it a color so that later on as I'm scanning through the download this beginning and end point right here stands out more and I don't have to go search for it every single time. Now as we scroll back all the way up to the top the big things about this is that as you scroll you end up losing some of the more important milestones on what you're trying to keep in front of you. Time and date stamps and what exactly piece of information that you're looking at. So what we can do is we can lock these rows in and then move the rest of the download. The way that we do that is we go up to view and you can actually do it in one of two different ways. You can hit split and then that gives you this big crosshair in the middle. And that you can actually move and you can identify where you want the split points to be. And if you look down at the bottom, I actually now have two different slide bars. And I can go all the way over where I end up with two sets of times and dates, or I can cover that up. Now those two different pieces move independently and I can make it so that I can keep my time date and what category I'm looking at, what sensor, while I scroll through the information. I can also scroll left to right and I can keep my time and date so that you don't end up forgetting exactly where you're at in the download and what you're looking for. Another way you can do the same thing is with this feature called freeze pane. So if you click where you want the freeze to be, what you're going to do is you're going to freeze above it and to the left of it. So if I click this button, then that locks in everything to the left of it and everything above it. And when I scroll, it only scrolls below or to the right or left, but it doesn't dupli 
duplicate the columns like it did in split. And you can set the freeze or the split wherever you want in the download depending on what it is that you want to keep frozen and not moving. The second thing that we can do is we can help find data. Okay, so in other download programs, WinTrack, Thermoserve, things like that, you're able to sort and filter data and people are used to that. Now if you click the main bar that has all of your titles across it, go to data and then hit filter, what you gain is a little drop down now next to every piece of information, every sensor. And if you go to one of those, let's say event for example, you can then choose to turn on or turn off what you want to see. So for example if I unselect all, scroll down and I just want to see certain alarms, so I could go through and I can click all of the alarms or I could highlight an individual alarm that I was looking for and then it will filter the entire download to only showing those, the pieces of data in that column that correspond with what you want to see. So I'm actually going to go through and I'm going to select all the alarms that pop up and I hit OK. That filters now the entire download to only showing me the alarms. So I'm going to click on the first one, go down to the bottom, I'm going to hold shift, click on the last one, and then I'm going to change all of these red. I can then go back to my filter drop down, reselect all, and then that now brings the entire download back up. But now all of my alarms throughout the entire download are going to be highlighted red. So as you are scanning for different information, you can more quickly pinpoint when those alarm codes popped up, what was the before data and the after data to try to help you pinpoint root cause. And you can do this exact same thought for any piece of data. If you were only looking for times when it was in cool mode, if you were only looking for times above a certain ambient temperature, if you were only looking for any individual piece of information, you can sort the download, highlight those rows, and then unsort it, and then they will now stand out as you go through the download as a whole. So with these things added, this can make a Excel spreadsheet function a lot more like the tabular data inside WinTrack or Thermoserve that you may be more used to. Now, this is a CSV. It will not hold any of these colors or changing of columns or anything like that that you have done. If you want to retain anything that you do, when you save, you can't just click save, you have to click save as. And then when the, it pops up, you have to change the file format to an Excel XS or S Excel SX. And then save. Now this can be emailed and everything like that with all of your highlighted rows and whatever else that you did to modify this download to make it more user friendly.